Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the Balm Jovi Rockstar palette. And this palette rocks it. The names in this palette are absolutely adorable and you'll hear me referring to them throughout this tutorial. But some of my favorite are the Third Eye Blinded, Blink 1982, Metallica, Iron Maiden, Lead Zeppelin, Alice Copper. I mean, the names just absolutely kill me. So we're going to go ahead and get started, and I'm going to use Adagio, and I'm going to take Adagio from the lash line and sweep that up to the brow bone. Next, I'll take Allegro and use that on my upper crease, and as I blend that, I will move that slightly up to give it a nice shading. We're gonna go in next with Lead Zeppelin. When I did this palette, I had um, I had to use this greenish color. My dad was huge into Led Zeppelin, so it just seemed right doing a rock and roll eye look using one of his favorite bands. So this color is pretty pigmented. Actually, all these colors are pretty pigmented. Um, so I just kind of use it along the outer um, corner and up on the brow bone. The colors are pigmented, so um, get prepared to use a blending brush because you will need to blend. I'm going to take the Metallica and sweep that along the eyebrow bone, and this ended up being a lot more pigmented than I thought. So I'm going to take that Morphe brush and go ahead and blend, blend, blend some more. I'm going to pop that Metallica in on the inner corner just to make the eyes wake up. And I'm going to go back to the lead Zeppelin and smoke out the lower lash line and have that meet the outer corner of the eye. Because gotta have a little bit of a smoky eye with almost every look I do. I can't help myself. I just love them. I'm going to go in with the Allegro um, and kind of soften the Metallica and the Lead Zeppelin. I just felt like it was too much of a harsh change. So the nice brownish tan color of Allegro is um, going right in between those two just to soften that up. A little bit. I'm going to actually use Makeup Geeks Plumera. I was not expecting these um, eyeliners to be as pigmented. I mean, I always have my faith in the Makeup Geek products, but it was even better than I had anticipated. I'm going to use Makeup Geeks Immortal with a bent elf brush and do the eyeliner, which as you guys know, absolutely drives me crazy because I can never seem to just rock the eyeliner perfect. But I start on the inner corner and I'm going to move in towards the middle of my eye and then I go to the outer corner and do the same. Eventually, I'm going to make those two meet in the middle. But I do go back and forth between the two just trying to smooth any um, lines that may have um, or any mistakes that may have happened because I do have some wrinkles on that upper lid. And then I'm going to flick out a little baby wing because I love my baby wings. Next I'll take an angled brush. I couldn't figure out why my makeup looks so strange today and wasn't going on right and that's because I kind of forgot my eyebrows. Usually I start with my foundation routine. I jump right into the eyebrows because those seem to be the, the two main pieces that help as I am creating a look and I forgot my eyebrows somehow. So I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Chocolate with just a um, angled brush and I'm going to just kind of be filling in my eyebrows because they are a little sparse and weak to say the least. Another beautiful thing of aging, your eyebrows start to disappear. We're 
we're going to go into the falsies. I'm going to dot a couple dots of lash glue on my lid just to prepare for the lashes. Let's get that side tacky. Then I'm going to put some of the glue on my lashes so those can, that side can get tacky. The ultimate goal is once both sides of the eyelashes, or excuse me, the eyelid and the eyelashes get tacky, it just makes it a little bit easier to um, attach both of them. Kind of forgot to do my curling of the eyelashes also. I will tell you, today was not my day, but I'm going to per persevere. Now we're going to pop on those falsies. I am absolutely obsessed with falsies. I just think they um, finish out the look. They open the eye. They're just absolutely stunning. A look without falsies just seems to be incomplete for me, so you will see me using falsies a lot. There is a great website called Shop Miss A, and you can find falsies of all different size, shapes, and styles for a dollar a piece. So for me, I will go on and buy them in bulk, and then um, I have them for everyday use. And as you can see, my trick for making either side is um, not doing so well today. I'm telling you, between videotaping, my makeup, and get ready for my mascara hot mess, holy mackerel, today just wasn't my day. I am now going to flip down to the pop pop, don't you want me blush, and I'm going to pop pop those on my cheeks. As you notice, I totally miss contouring. Don't know where my head was, but I thought, well, this look can go without contouring. We'll just see how good the pop pop does on its own. I'm going to use my MAC brush. Um, this palette has a highlighter called Disco Disco Solid Gold. And, whoo, I loved me some solid gold. This highlighter in the palette actually is really good and was quite a shock. Now going in for my mascara. At this point, I thought my lashes were just fine and, well, I had a major accident um, coming up shortly. Got it all on the inside of my eye. Not quite sure what I did, but um, it could be because this is a new Rimmel mascara, and typically new <laughs> mascaras for me, it's I just get it everywhere. So, um, yeah, I got it everywhere. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit before I try to repair it, because I am cracking up that I got it mm -hmm, everywhere. I'm telling you, this just wasn't my day, but it didn't stop me from continuing to move on with this rock star palette. So I go in with a second coat of mascara as I'm letting that big old hot mascara mess on my left eye dry a little bit more. Lord have mercy. All right, I have repaired the eye. And I'm going to attempt lower lash um, mascara. And what cracks me up is I even got my lower lashes, gave me some dots on the lower line. So um, this new Rimmel mascara is really, really awesome. Um, this little lippy or lip liner was actually from Shop Miss A. It was a dollar. I don't remember what color it was, but it, for a dollar, Shop Miss A really allows you to um, try different colors and products at a fraction of the price. Once I finish lining my lips, I'm going to go back in with the Balm palette because it also has lipsticks and the lipsticks um, or cheek is... Um, called, I'm going to actually use the color Millie, but there is another color called Vanilli, and this is the Lip Sync Playback. 
So the Millie color is just an absolute beautiful mauve rose color. Um, I don't know that I would use a cream on my cheek. I've always been a little bit afraid of creams on the cheek, but this mauve lipstick is amazing. I just absolutely love this whole palette. The fact that I could take this palette with me, have my uh, a plethora of eye looks, blush, highlighter, and um, lip, is makes this one of probably my new favorite palettes because I do travel quite a bit and to know that I can just pick up one palette and go it's sleek it will fit nice in the purse this palette really truly is rock and roll so please please think about buying this one I appreciate you guys watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial Make it a beautiful day. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. If you like the palette, give it a thumbs up. If there's anyone else that you think that might enjoy the missteps of my tutorials or the fact that I can actually laugh at myself as I do these things, send them along and let them laugh with me. But again, this palette from The Balm is the bomb. The Balm Jovi Rockstar Face Palette. Have a great one.